Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, unbelievably beautiful, over the top beautiful first day of summer 2022. That would be Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. And I must say that the uh, first fucking day of summer is pretty much a repeat of the last day of spring. 2022 the the unadulterated fucking bullshit that that has unfolded uh, in my life the, the the record goes unfucking blemished every mother fucking thing that I have touched since I fucking woke up today a a solid repeat of yesterday unfucking believable unadulterated horseshit bullshit starting with the lumber let's see the bullshit that I dealt with with the motherfucking lumber having to uh, take all that fucking wood out because that dude overpacked my fucking trailer uh, starting out with that and so then I, I deal with fucking U-Haul uh, telling the motherfuckers at U-Haul that I uh, need the trailer for another day, which they told me yesterday when I rented the place would be no fucking problem, but now they're fucking telling me that they rented the fucking trailer to somebody else, and I need to get the fucking trailer back to fucking Elmira go to Ithaca tomorrow, rent another fucking trailer. So I'm already, so I'm taking a fucking trip to Elmira, New York. I don't need to use it about $20 worth of fucking gas to, to uh, return a fucking perfectly good fucking trailer, turn around, go back, wake up tomorrow, go back to fucking Ithaca, spend another $20 in fucking gas to pick up an identical fucking trailer to the one I have on my fucking truck right now. So I'm dealing with that fucking unadulterated horse shit from, uh, from fucking, uh, from, from fucking U-Haul, and, and now I'm dealing with this fucking bullshit from uh, Airbnb, where the, the, these folks want to come rent the fucking tiny house tomorrow night, I mean, tonight and tomorrow night. Okay, they want to rent it, and I have, because Airbnb won't let us talk to each other, you know, until they've made the reservations so we don't cut Airbnb out of the deal. So, you know, I, I could, it's, it's totally fucking weird with, with, with Airbnb. The, the intricacies of, of, of this are too fucking complicated to get into. But the fucking bottom line is, uh, let's see, the bottom line is the woman, I, I told her, I, I did, I, I was able to communicate with her one fucking time telling her I'm dealing with this unadulterated fucking horseshit in my life if she could wait till 9 o'clock tonight, that uh, she's welcome to come. But since I don't have any way of fucking talk to, talking to her, I have, as I said, darling, uh, as much as I don't want to, I have to decline your request to reserve the fucking tiny house that I need to fucking decline it because I don't have the answer whether you're willing to wait till nine o'clock. So I had to hit the fucking decline button. So now I've declined her, okay? So I can't talk to her anymore. But Airbnb, so I can call Airbnb. So I called fucking Airbnb and they, and they looked up my account and they said, okay, she's willing to wait till nine o'clock. And I said, fine, well, we'll change it from decline to approve. And they said, there's no fucking way. You are the only person on the fucking planet uh, who can do this. And, and I said, I'm dealing with all this fucking bullshit. I said, there's nothing I can do 
to like 7.30 tonight. Nothing I can do. And, and I said, can't you fucking call her, email her? I said, you've got her phone number. You've got her email address. Can't you fucking communicate with her? And they said, no, they cannot, which is unadulterated horseshit. They most certainly can communicate with this woman. They're claiming there is no fucking way they can call her, text her, email her, saying, Sam says, fine, come on out. Cannot happen. That Now, they said if she calls them, if she calls Airbnb and initiates a phone call to them, they can tell her, we talked to Sam, and Sam said, come on out. But they're not going to initiate any communication with her either uh and 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 that is where we stand so uh i, I said listen you clueless fucking bitch I, I i said does that woman have my goddamn address uh where bugs in a jar farm is does she have access to that and she says yes you chose to put the address right there and, and, and i said fine uh, I said, I'm assuming the woman's, and if that woman fucking comes out there, I'm just going to write motherfucking Airbnb out of this deal. This is unbelievable fucking bullshit. Uh, just every fucking thing. Every, every single thing, just like yesterday, every single fucking thing that, that I have tried to deal with with any other human being on this fucking planet has been a fuck up. My, my record is virtually 100% for, for the past two days. Every single fucking negotiation I have tried to make with everybody on this planet has turned into a cluster fuck fuck up. Costing me hours of my fucking time. Uh, how many fucking dollars in gas am I fucking spending? Uh, dealing w with everybody's fuck up with shit that used to be so fucking simple. None of this needs to be fucking d complicated. None of this needs to be fucking complicated. Every motherfucking thing that went wrong could, could have been so fucking easily avoided. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Now I'm probably going to lose 150 fucking dollars at Airbnb because I'm dealing with this fucking trailer return. Probably cost me 150 fucking dollars out of my fucking pocket. Because, uh, because... Uh, fucking U-Haul tells me yesterday, no, there's no problem if you want to extend your reservation. D just for that, for that one fuck up, w what this has caused me. Uh, if I lose this fucking Airbnb reservation uh, over this bullshit, uh, th this will be over 200 fucking dollars between, I mean, not even counting my time, but between the, the lost wages on fucking Airbnb uh, and, and the extra gas that, that I'm spending running this fucking trailer back to Elmira and then going to, to, going to Ithaca to pick up an identical fucking trailer when they could have just told the fucking people uh, picking up the trailer here that we already have it rented out, but there's one sitting in fucking Ithaca. Go pick, no, uh, they can't tell them to go pick up the fucking trailer. You know, it's all on fucking me. But, Jesus fucking Christ. But I guess I could be my fucking neighbor, man. Uh, you know, I guess, I guess compared to that motherfucker, it's just another fucking day on the planet compared to that dude. Oh, Jesus, I keep having flashbacks of that dude lying fucking dead uh, in his damn bathroom. Good fucking God. Uh, what a way to go. Lying 
the crashing down dead in your fucking bathroom. I'm assuming he was going in there to take a shit. Didn't Elvis Presley fucking die on the goddamn toilet? He, 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 you know. Good God Almighty. So uh, I, I guess using my buddy's death as my advisor, uh, I guess I should happy. I guess I should be happy that that I'm around to bitch about all the fucking bullshit, J just like I'm happy to be bitching about my aching fucking back. Uh, could be lying dead on my fucking bathroom floor. Jesus fucking Christ. Anywho, uh, let me uh, let me see. How can I get around? this uh, fucking Airbnb thing. Anywho, I'm going to call Sandy, see if she can figure out this challenge. <laughs>